going live. It says I'm live. Hey guys, I hope this isn't too dark. I like how in my thumbnail I look like a crazy evil vampire or something. So how's it going tonight? Everybody doing well? I hope this is working. Oh, there's, here comes somebody. Nobody came in for a while. So I was like, uh, is this live show working? Cause they changed it or something. Hi, what's up everybody? Hey guys. I hope you're all doing well tonight. I hope this isn't, I guess this is later than we normally do a live show. Hey, I hope everybody is doing well. Yeah, I thought I'd just like hop on for a little bit. Iris is playing Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> True story. She likes riding the horse around. Yeah, thank you, Jeffrey. Yeah, we're bummed that our Rufio passed away. So I, I wanna thank everybody for the kind words that they left on the last video. I don't, I think for, um, you know, some people it's kind of hard to understand if they haven't had a bearded dragon because I think a lot of people put lizards or bearded dragons on the same level as fish. But after you have one, you can really see that they do have personalities and you develop a bond with them. So it's hard, you know, they get excited to see you when you walk into the room and they like being held and pet. And they're just, um, they're really nice pets. They're sweet. And you know, he's been a part of our lives for so long. It's just going to be weird not having them anymore. So yeah, Melissa Thor is probably downstairs. Simon is behind the computer. Um, I hope my internet is okay. It's been acting weird lately, but I thought that I'd just go have a live show in the bedroom. I actually hear Lola outside the door. She's whining. My favorite eyebrow's okay for now. <laughs> hey, Michael. I'm doing okay. How are you? Um, Kelly Angelus asks, how is Aphrodite? Aphrodite's doing well. Um, I give her medicine every day. I maintain her disease. I guess it's called a disease, right? Chylothorax, would that still be a disease or an ailment? Um, but she's laying on the couch downstairs. That's her new favorite spot. I'll probably take her into the vet for a checkup pretty soon here. So I, it's been uh, like, we've been trying to figure out her new normal because she, uh, you know, she is doing well with the disease, living with it, uh, but it does look weird. You know, she breathes weird. So we're just trying to figure out when is that point where we really need to take her into the vet to get her drained again, her, her chest tap, get the fluid drained. So I think it's as long as she is alert and she's moving around, then she's probably okay. Cause she, you know, she has been okay. Each time we've taken her to the vet, we've taken her and she has had fluid, but it hasn't been to the point where it's dangerous, if that makes sense. John is doing well. He's playing Red Dead Redemption with Iris. <laughs> Um, what happened to my cat Harp's ashes? I still have them. Yeah, they're downstairs in um, one of our little mantle thingies. Hutches, armoires, whatever they're called. Alan Greenman's uncle died yesterday. I'm so sorry. Yeah, death is hard. Um, Victoria Marie wants a shout out. Shout out to Victoria. Donica's doing well. She's in a play. She's a really good actress. She's um, been in the been the lead in the past few plays at, at her college. So I might go up next this coming weekend and go see her play. She's in the Tempest. Hey. Um, Ricky, how is my brother after surgery? My brother is still doing well. He's actually, he's recovering really well. I guess, you know, when you're that young, he, um, yeah, he's back in school. He's gone on field trips. He's a part of, what is it called? DECA or DACA? I think it's some sort of model youth government. 
When are you getting married? I don't know. <laughs> you know, I, I very much would like to get married, but like, we haven't really wanted to spend money on the wedding. Yeah, we could just go to the, the courthouse and sign a paper and get it done. And we're kind of like, if we are going to do it, we really, really want to do it and have an awesome wedding. So we just haven't yet. Life, so many different things have been thrown at us. We're married in our hearts. We we always refer to ourselves as husband and wife when we meet meet other people because we do feel like we are married. Um. It's just we haven't actually had a wedding yet. It'll happen someday. Puppy paws, shout out to you. Ooh, ooh. Come to Alabama. I have never been to Alabama. John has. John's brother went to college in Alabama. University of Southern Alabama, I think it was. So John used to go a lot when he was younger. He likes it down there. Am I going to pull any pranks on John on Thanksgiving? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> maybe we will. Maybe I will. I, it's like being back in Minnesota. It's so hard to figure out like where to go on the holidays because we have John's parents and my parents, four different houses that, that want to see us. You need to dump snow on John in the shower. There actually is snow on the ground right now, it's snowed in Minnesota. And I do have a prank planned for John. I have something in my head. Hopefully I can strike soon. Um, the last prank John pulled on me was the saying another girl's name in bed prank that's up on our Pranksters in Love channel right now. Well, we actually have a, a good amount of viewers in this live show right now. Maybe this is a good time to go live. I usually go live earlier. Oh, thank you for the super chat, Dustin. That's that's really nice of you. Is John in trouble after the new truck purchase? Better than a hundred and fifty k sports car? I we don't. There's not a new truck here. I don't know if he was serious about that or not. He's like he's being really weird about that. We just have the Volvo at our house. And like, I know his, his uncle was selling his truck, but he was like, I bought a new truck and we don't have a new truck here. So what are you talking about? Charles, you look sad. <laughs> you know, I think I just get so exhausted from my emotions. I am doing okay. I think, you know, it's a little, it's, it makes it easier when a death isn't untimely because he was really old. And, um, you know, with our pets, we've been fortunate enough for, we, we haven't really had any untimely deaths. You know, Kenobi, he just, he couldn't live any longer. He was like at the max for a dog his size. So that makes it a little easier. And then Rufio, you know, he was old too, but I do get really worked up and nervous because, you know, I was nervous that he wasn't doing well. And I thought that he might die. I did get myself physically sick over that. Like it was manifesting itself in my stomach and I was having stomach problems. My dad came over on Sunday and my dad was looking at me. He's like, you look exhausted. You look beat. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Tyreek, your dog died in July. Yeah, it's, it's so hard. You know, you really wish that you could, they could live as long as us, could be with their the pets forever. But, you know, we kind of, think we, we think our purpose is, is giving as many animals a nice life as we can. So they they always have a special place in our hearts. But if we do get another pet, it's, you know, we just figure we can make another life nice, too. Steph, kids make you exhausted, too. Yes, they do. Um, Iris had a play date yesterday. She had a friend come over from school, and, and it went well. So, I, actually, that was my first play date where the parent wasn't there, too. The, the, the kid just came, and I, I had to I watch, both, watch the kids. But they, it was actually a lot easier. 
because <laughs> then I didn't have Iris following me around all day going, play with me, play with me. How is Jenny? Jenny is um, doing well. I, I uh, People pretty much ask this every time that I, I do a live show. Um, she, oh, thank you so much for the, the super chat. I really, really appreciate it. It just goes to the channel, us making more videos. Um, and yeah, that's, that's so nice of you. It's just a heart, no question. <laughs> um, but Jenny is doing well. I, I guess they worked some more stuff out with their insurance company. So Jenny is getting some more stuff. She's getting a, a big, nice bathroom built for her. Jenny hasn't had a bath since the accident in, you know, 10, 11 years. She hasn't had a bath. They would just have to sponge bathe her. And she got it approved for the insurance to redo the bathroom. So she's getting a special lift that will take her to a nice big jacuzzi tub, which sounds so nice. Like Even if you think about the therapeutic value of being able to sit in a jacuzzi tub, that must feel so nice. You know, it's like getting a massage the feeling that the heat of the water, I think that'll, that'll do a lot for her. Thoughts on the, the time change. It's so depressing. You know, there's so much, there's so much science behind that has been done behind how it, like it actually is no good. It's terrible for us to have this daylight savings time. I mean, um, I'm doing, okay with it but it is weird when it's dark at five o'clock I was like what the heck it feels like nighttime and then it kind of makes you it makes you not motivated to do anything either it's like wow it's seriously it's night already <laughs> what happened to the day I have like only a couple hours to get anything done oh thank you so much for the super chat syi infinite plans for marriage and a new baby actually love ya um, Iris has been asking for a sibling a lot lately. Uh, she, before she never really said anything, but now she always asks for a baby sister. We've had her first parent teacher conference at her preschool. First thing she said when she walked in, she said hi to her teacher. And she said, so I don't have a baby sister yet. <laughs> we'll see. You know, if it, if it happens, it happens. That's kind of where we're at. We're we are not trying to have a baby, but we're not not trying as hard, if that makes sense. <laughs> if a whoopsies happens, it happens. Fall, winter, spring, or summer. Thank you for the super chat. Are you asking what's my favorite season? Probably summer, but I have an appreciation for all seasons now. Like I, I really find the changes beautiful. Like I think snow is very pretty to go look at. Sometimes the cold gets very hard to deal with, especially being in Minnesota. I love the color change of the leaves on the trees in the fall, but I do love going to the beach and just laying on the sand. I did that a lot this summer. I went to the beach more living in Minnesota than I did in California. Of course, it's a it's a beach for a lake versus a beach for the ocean. But I think having the season change makes you appreciate the seasons more. You know, I just, I never went to the beach in California. I was like, oh, I can go anytime. And I never went. And then in the summertime living in Minnesota, it's like, better go, better go to the beach as much as we, we can. Because winter's going to be here before you know it. Your two-year-old loves the winter, says Kira. Iris likes playing in the snow, too. Kids love to build snowmen and snow forts. I loved that when I was a kid. We, I remember when the snow plows would come and they'd leave those huge piles at the bottom of your driveway, how you just dig these intense tunnels, have snowball fights. Steven says, I'm one of his all-time favorite YouTubers. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. Seen you on YouTube and MTV's Pranked and Ridiculous. Yes, we have been on all those shows. What's a prank that you would never do? I mean, we, we try to avoid hospital bills. 
<laughs> you know, some people think a lot of our pranks are crossing the line, but I mean, we try not to seriously hurt each other. We'll hurt each other a little bit. And then I also, we'd never do any psychological, like really bad psychological pranks on our kid. We think that's really messed up. Like some pranksters on YouTube pull pranks on their kids and we're just like, oh, no, why would you do that? They're not old enough to understand. Can you do more pranks like you used to? We do a lot of pranks. I mean, we're still doing pranks. We try to post like two to four pranks each month. And I think a lot of our pranks, you know, are on the same level as our old pranks. Does Iris like theme park trains? Yeah. Does Barry Manilow know that you raid his wardrobe? I don't know what the heck that's supposed to mean. I'm like wearing a sweater right now. <laughs> I know who Barry Manilow is, but was that supposed to be an insult? It doesn't really make sense. Gone to the snow, good dogs. You have, what's up guys? Hi. Um, if you are not subscribed to Gone to the Snow Dogs, you should go check them out because their channel is awesome. They have a pack of huskies that are so cute. And to answer your question, yes, we have snow. We got, uh, I think like an inch of snow on Sunday and it's stuck around. And then it'll randomly snow like a little bit here and there. Nikki, what is your favorite Shakespeare tragedy? I love Shakespeare. I don't know if I have a favorite. Romeo and Juliet is always good. Um, I like Hamlet a lot too. Everybody goes crazy in Hamlet. It's really fun. <laughs> oh, it's from The Breakfast Club. Okay. <laughs> I haven't seen that movie in forever. It's on Netflix, isn't it? I think I've seen that when I was scrolling around Netflix. What movie was I thinking about the other day? Oh, I want to watch The Truman Show again. So, uh, randomly, articles will pop up on The Truman Show. I guess it's like a cult classic. Woo, another super chat. Thank you. You have an awesome family and you are beautiful. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. Fame Thorpe, what are you scared of? I'm scared of scorpions. I hate scorpions. They're really creepy. Oh, oh my gosh, another super chat. Thank you. I've been watching for about five years. Wow. Yeah, that is a long time. It is crazy to think that, well, first of all, I, like time flies when you're having fun. I don't feel like I've been on YouTube that long. Um, but yeah, it's been almost 10 years. It's crazy. Almost 10 years we've been on YouTube. And uh, a lot of people have just kind of like grown up with us. The purple hair dye was your favorite. Oh, hello from Chicago. Chicago's so much fun. I want to go to Chicago again. Oh, no, Kira Mullen Snake passed away yesterday. I'm sorry. My condolences. I know how it feels. What is my favorite movie? I have a lot. Some like it hot, I guess is probably my favorite classic. I like musicals like Moulin Rouge, um, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. That's one of my favorites. Hi, Nikki, John, and Iris. Hi, Tracy. Thank you so much for the super chat. You guys are amazing. Thank you for the support. Ooh, Rochester, Minnesota. That's not too far. What's up, Ben? Oh, thank you for the super chat, Yankee Bulldogs, again. Oh, there's another one. My favorite prank is when you nared John's hair. Yeah, that was a long time ago. That was one of our earlier ones. Um, Dustin Dent, you're close to another million view prank. Congratulations. Your last prank was old school, Nikki. Loved it. <laughs> I mean, I do get, I, I get mad. I guess I, um... It's just, it's hard to get me to swear. I think that's the only difference when, when people 
say, oh, my, you, like your old pranks are different. Your new pranks are more tame. I don't think the actual pranks that we pull are more tame than our old pranks because we do like a lot of stuff that's on the level of like 20 year old Nikki on, on YouTube. Um, I think the only difference is we swear less. I think that's it. And John got me to swear in the last prank. Do you guys have YouTube buttons? We do. We have uh, a million subscriber button. They're down. It's downstairs and a 100,000 subscriber button. It'd be nice to get another million subscriber button on our, uh, for our vlog channel. Any plans on doing any more things for YouTube Red? I have not got any more offers. <laughs> I would love to, but we haven't been asked to do anything. Do you miss Callie? Sometimes. Sometimes I have FOMO. Like, we got invited to a premiere screening party for the new Fantastic Beasts movie. It was um, IMAX who invited us to I IMAX headquarters. They're like, it's in LA this weekend. And we got the email. I was like, oh, man. Yeah, we don't live in LA anymore. That would have been really fun to go to, though. We love those movies. We love all the Harry Potter stuff. Woo! Another super chat from Natasha. My favorite prank was when you super glued John's hat to his head. That is one of my favorites too. I love that one. What is my favorite scary movie? I think I like thrillers more than horror movies. Like I'm not super into gore. Um, I think I'm too much of an empath to like love those gory, scary movies because you know, when someone gets cut in a movie, like I, I get sick. I'm like, Ugh. like I can feel it. I go, <laughs> even though I know it's not real. Like I, I'm like, oh my gosh, that must hurt so bad. Um, I like movies like Crimson Peak, Sixth Sense, those types of scary movies. Steph Hollis, how do you feel about Stanley? Yeah, it's sad. He was getting up there though. He was pretty old. But I mean, his work will live on forever. He'll always be a legend. Have you ever been to Arkansas? Arkansas, I have not. Yeah, 95, they, yeah, that's up there. Love from India, woo woo. I think we're gonna go have Indian food tomorrow. What do you, what do you recommend? What should we get? I might just end up getting biryani again because I love that so much. Dosa. Well, they don't have, dosa, there aren't a ton of Southern, or su yeah, Southern Indian restaurants. We're not going to that one. I don't think they have dosa. Butter chicken. A lot of people like butter chicken. But we, we were going to go down to Northfield. Get another turtle. Do you think I should? Yeah, we have a, our box turtle is by itself. But I've heard that like turtles and tortoises, they're usually pretty solitary in the wild. So when you want to get them a friend, I was reading about it. You might want to get your turtle or tortoise a friend, but usually in the wild, they kind of stick to themselves. So it's not that hard for them to be in a cage by themselves. Thai food. I do love Thai, my Thai place. I just don't live super close to it, so I don't get it very often. An Eastern painted turtle. I'm going to pimp out my turtle's cage. I think that's my next step. I want him to get a cooler cage. And he doesn't have a hide. I think they really like to have a like a little log to go under. Box turtles. He'll bury himself though. Are you going back to Los Angeles anytime soon? I've been thinking about it. Yeah, I wanna go back soon. Actually, it's really not that expensive to fly from Minneapolis to LA because Sun Country Airlines is based in Minneapolis. So you can get a round trip flight for like 250 bucks, which that's not bad. Um, and even first class on Sun Country, it's like 500. It's crazy. Round trip Minnesota to LA. Woo! 
Luke's Trucking Life. Hey, welcome back. Thank you for the super chat. It's great to see you again. When can you and your family come visit Roseville? Yeah, we haven't been there in a while. I, I, when I was a teenager, I would shop at the Roseville Mall a lot. Well, I don't know. My voice is relaxing. I have kind of, I have different voices. Like when I'm peppy, my voice gets super high. But when I've been like exhausted lately, I get like that low, <laughs> raspy voice. Irvin, any plans to visit Europe? I need to go to Germany. I haven't been to Germany in so many years. And, um, you know, my mom, all my mom's family is in Germany. And I have members of my mom's family, like my uncle, never met Iris. I have aunts who have never met Iris, cousins who have never met Iris. And so I think that I should really take Iris to Germany and John so that everybody can meet John. Oh, yeah, Rosedale Center. I thought that, sorry, I said, oh, oh, very Midwestern because the, the super chat disappeared for a second. Have you guys seen those things that go around the internet that, that you know, it makes fun of how Minnesotans say oh, or Midwesterners in general, general, when you bump into somebody at the supermarket, you go oh. <laughs> I do that all the time. If you're looking for a good Indian dessert, try, is it julep jamun or gulab? Gulab jamun, jamun? Okay, thank you for the recommendation. I can ask my sister, my sister will know. I know how that feels. My husband is from Mexico and his family has not seen our son and he's almost 11. Wow. Mexico's a, a lot of fun. You guys, I mean, if you can, you should go visit. But the, you know, I know that's life, we get busy and you know, of course, there's restrictions from other aspects in life. Life is short. Seize the day. I should definitely go to Germany and have them meet Iris. And everybody would love it. It's like, we have a place to stay. We don't have to pay for hotels. Oh, no. Roblox Gamers Kitty died. I'm so sorry. Here, let's see if Boo can make you happy. Beavers, be very pay. Be very pay. Just let me pick you up. I'm sorry if that annoys you. Hey, can you say hi? Can you be in the vlog? Here's Boo. Simon's here. Simon's my little snuggle buddy. Simon is always cuddling with me. Shout out to London City. I do love London. We'd really like to go back to London someday. We had a lot of fun there. Simon, people are saying hello to you. He's purring. I think he's purring and annoyed with me at the same time. Oh, your cat's name is Simon? That's awesome. Howdy, Nikki from Houston. I have been to Texas before. I went to South Padre Island. Yeah, Simon is, he's a good cat. He's a goofball. Simon reminds you of your old cat, yeah. Simon is taking over the channel. He kind of does. Every time we're filming, he just like walks in and he's like, what's going on here? He's a good cat, he's really chill. Yeah, we got a good group of animals. Hello, hello from Utah. Yeah, why is it that Minnesotan people sound like stereotypical Canadians, but the- <laughs> hey. oh, no. oh, There's John. Hey. You should like at least say hi to people or something. Hey, gotcha. right. are you on the screen? Yep. Yeah, the light around my head though. Hi. What are you on? YouTube? Yeah. Cool. It's my YouTube. What are you doing? 
you're gonna play a live show or what? But you just got wet, really. I know uh, it scared uh, me. Uh, uh, I, uh, I had uh, no idea what you were doing. I'm like a wet belly of salt tea. Here I am, like a an ASMR video with my like relaxing, exhausted voice, and then I scare the crap out of it. <laughs> it's like one of those videos you see when you're scrolling through Facebook and you like click on it and it looks like something normal and then somebody scares you. I hate those videos so much, by the way. They make me so mad. I'm like, oh, why would you post that? I always look at the comments first to see if it's one of those, one of those videos. I haven't been gotten by one of those in a long time. Hello from Indonesia. Oh, I do want to go to Indonesia. John and I actually have been talking about going on vacation lately. It's been my dream to go on like a, a resort vacation with John. I really wanted to do that for my birthday this year and then it, it didn't work out because my cat was sick. So I spent all my money making my cat get better. But um, yeah, so we've been talking about going on a trip soon. We've been looking at different places. Where were we looking at? Oh, Aruba. Aruba, the flight to Aruba is pretty cheap. Has anybody been there? Is it fun? I think it was only 400 bucks to Aruba. Take a cruise. Maybe that would be fun too. No, I think I want to go to a resort. I do want to go on a cruise someday. Aruba is the best. Oh, so you have been. Yeah, we were looking at Bora Bora too. We we're looking at Bora Bora and Bali. Bora Bora, it looks kind of expensive right now. I think because so many social media people have been going to Bora Bora. Like you just, I mean, you see vlogs everywhere. I think they had a big social media push and, or am I thinking of Bali? Am I thinking of Bora Bora or Bali? It's Bora Bora, right? Where everybody's been going. So I, we were looking at that and plane tickets were kind of expensive there. I mean, I think we looked at both Bora Bora and Bali. Get John back with a wedgie as revenge. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. Maybe I will. Like I said, I am planning a prank on him. I got one up here. His revenge will come, don't you worry. Peru, yes. I mean, I do love Peru, Nelson, but I, I was in Peru last summer. Although it would be nice to go to Peru and to not be working though, you know, to not have a places that I needed to be to go see whatever I wanted to see. Yeah, ich bin, ich kann Deutsch sprechen. Meine Mutter kam aus Deutschland. We don't have a, a PO box for, for fan mail yet. Mickey, I have a tarantula as a pet. Do you really? Do you like it? My roommate had a tarantula, a pet tarantula. Woo, another super chat. Hey, Nikki, I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much. I'm doing okay. We are doing, we're doing okay. Um, I went out the other night. There was a mom's night in the, in the mom's group. I'm in a mom's group, by the way. <laughs> so they had a, a mom's night out. So I decided to go out this weekend to take my mind off of some things. And it was fun. I think I, I'm glad that I did go out. Super glue John's hat. Should I do that again? Would you get another bearded dragon soon? I don't know. I mean, I might someday because I realized how much we like them so much. But we'll see. I do also, I worry about Minnesota. I worry if Minnesota is not the best place to have bearded dragons. People do do it, but, you know, like winter, it gets really cold here in the winter, which you use a heat lamp, of course, but also it gets humid in the summer. Like the humidity levels are different here than they were in California. Like the California climate is a lot more similar to their native climate in Australia than Minnesota is in the summer. John's hat needs a super glue. Hey, Stu, it's good to see you again. Popping up in our comment section. 
Victoria asks, is a bearded dragon easy to take care of? Um, I would say that they're pretty easy to take care of. They're pretty simple pets. You have to get a gauge and make sure that their temperature is correct and their humidity levels are correct. And then, you know, you, you feed them crickets, you have to clean their cage and that sort of thing. But I have heard that other reptiles are harder to take care of that, than bearded dragons. I've heard that bearded dragons are one of the easier reptiles to care for. I mean, my, mine lived for a while. One was 11 and one was 12 when they passed away. I really got to sleep. It's 1 a.m. Get some sleep. Get some sleep, girl. Sweet dreams, Steph. Super glue in his underwear, huh? <laughs> Do you still hate John for saying another girl's name in bed prank? No, I, I, I don't hate him. I was like, what the heck? I do, I mean, I get like cheating dreams, like dreams where he's cheating on me and I'll flip out. I don't know, maybe if that's a like a subconscious fear that every girl has or something. Like, no, I don't think he would ever actually cheat on me. We're pretty comfortable with our relationship. But I will have dreams where I find out that he's cheating on me and I flip out. And some of these dreams, I, I like, I beat up the girl. Does anybody else have dreams like that or am I crazy? Am I like secretly a violent psychopath or something? I have dreams like I find out he's cheating on me and I just start like wailing on the, <laughs> on the girl. <laughs> I do. Okay. So I'm not the only one. You're crazy, says Valerie. Maybe a little. Okay, Ava, yeah, I have them all the time. No? All right. Give and take. I mean, I would say that John and I were pretty secure in a relationship together. We're pretty comfortable, but I still will get dreams like that sometimes. And then I'll be so, you know, because I'll get so upset in my, I have very vivid dreams. I have very vivid dreams. I get a lot of lucid dreams sometimes too. Not always, but yeah, so then... I feel like these really intense emotions when I'm dreaming and I'll wake up and I'm so furious. And then I realize it was just a dream. Like, oh, I was so mad at you. I was so upset last night because you cheated on me in my dreams. <laughs> Itching powder underwear. We've done that one before. But I should do it to him. I see that's what you're saying. Um, is Harmony doing well? Are you keeping her? So um, her previous owner called me or the other day and we were talking about it. And she said that she's going to try to um, get a place and take her back next month or in January. And then I kind of told her that, you know, if it looks like it's going to be more time than that to consider us adopting her because... Uh, we are getting attached to her. We do really like Harmony and Harmony's fitting in well with the family. But I'm glad that her previous owner is doing well. So um, yeah, she might leave next month or in January. Hello to the Philippines. Hello. You guys are so funny. Make more prank vlogs. We will. We'll make we'll make some more prank videos. Crystal hates getting those dreams. Hi, say my name. Say my name. Say my name. When no one is around you. Johnny Rocket. <laughs> Do you regret any of your pranks? I don't think so. I mean, they're like, none of them have left any permanent damage. Like we get mad in the moment, but you know, we always laugh at our pranks afterwards. Like me, like that, my personality is like, you know, I fly off the handle. I know I do. And sometimes when John pranks me, I'm just like, I'm so furious in the moment, but I have always laughed after I've seen the video, like later on. 
Like we, you know, you give it some time and then I see my reaction and I laugh. I'm like, oh, I look so mad. <laughs> What's the maddest you got at John for a prank? Actually, like, it's one of his simpler pranks that I've been furious. Like, that when he smashed the egg on my head when I was sleeping, I was so furious because I really wanted to sleep in that day. And it was a simple prank, but I was just so, so mad about it. The bug zapper prank on John has me crying. Yeah, that's that's a good one. Oh, I was so mad. I was looking forward to sleeping in and then I couldn't, you know, there's egg in my hair. I have to wake up and take a shower. It's not like I can just go back to sleep. If John gives you a wet willy, then he deserves a head shave. Yeah, that seems about right. Has your dad served in the armed forces? Yeah, my dad's a colonel or a retired colonel in the from the army. Do I recognize your picture? I can't really see it because they're also, they're like this tiny. I don't know. Sorry, Joshua. I can't really see it. Hello. Shout out to Nick Pettigrew. So I think that I am going to sign off pretty soon here. I've been live for 41 minutes. So like five, 10 minutes, I'm going to sign off, answer a few more questions. Um, Badger, Badger, where I was talking about Jenny earlier, she is, she's doing well. Um, she is getting a new bathroom and a lift with a jacuzzi tub. So the lift will carry her into the bathroom in her room. So she's getting like a bunch of nice stuff under her room. Battle toads. Battle toads. What are battle toads? Thor is downstairs. Would you get an RV and travel for a couple months? That sounds fun. I've seen people do that. Um, Chicks Life, they do that on YouTube. They're friends of ours. They've been in our vlogs before, and that's what their channel's about. They just, I think they sold their house and bought an RV, and they're just gonna travel, travel the world. Well, or the United States. <laughs> what about doing some liquid ass pranks, Nikki? Yeah, we haven't got liquid ass. Well, we, last summer, last summer we did a liquid ass prank, or I, I pranked John with liquid ass cologne. YouTube's so cr crazy now with the monetization stuff, though. I, like, I'll be scared of using a product just because it has the name ass in it. Like, am I going to get demonetized because... It's called liquid ass. I didn't though. Well, I think I called it fart spray. Yeah, I just said fart spray in the video instead. So Nikki, do you watch Impractical Jokers? Sometimes, I mean, I'm not there watching every single new episode, but I've seen a lot of episodes. This the thumbnail picture is so beautiful. I love it. Thanks, Jessica. I thought I looked crazy in it. I was kind of trying to. I was like, <laughs> I kind of have crazy eyes in it. YouTube needs to calm down. Um, I mean, we we did okay with the whole. I mean, adpocalypse. It affected everybody to a certain extent, and um, we do have some demonetized videos, but. We still, like, most of our videos are still monetized, thank goodness. I think we've had, like, five demonetized on our prank channel, five or ten. I guess I was the maddest about the husband versus wife pranks getting demonetized. Yeah, husband versus wife pranks of 2016. I don't think there's anything that bad in it. And that was, like, our most popular video for a long time. The algorithm really loved that video. It has, like... 11 or 12 million views and then it would keep getting like a million views each month and de they demonetize that one I'm like, what the heck? Why is that video demonetized? It's like thanks YouTube 
when we have something good going for us. Oh, like our channel's doing well again. Hunter, do you get mad when John gives you wedgies? I mean, he doesn't do it often. It's, it's not a regular occurrence. We don't run around giving each other wedgies. If you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Curry? Probably. I do really love curry. Flash, did Flashing John video get demonetized? It did not. And rightfully so. It did get um, the first demonetization, and then I appealed the review, and I'm like, nothing was shown. Technically, the Little Mermaid is wearing more clothes than in that video, you know? Um, I mean, less clothes. Sorry, Iris opened the door. I got distracted. Like, the, the Little Mermaid is showing more skin than... And when I flashed John in the in the prank video and I was doing it, you know, I did that to be funny when I was distracting John. I'm like, you look funny, you look funny. I do? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Maybe I should stop talking about that right now. <laughs> you gonna say hi? Eh. Eh. Iris is here. Worms on your face, homeboy. Woo! Yes, I have been. Ew, don't lick the computer. <laughs> you little weirdo. Why'd you do that? <laughs> laughing, laughing. <laughs> Stop licking the computer. <laughs> Gotta keep it rated G now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love you. Ow! Now you're biting. What is wrong with you? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> All right. Should I should I turn it on? Ow! Should we go have some dinner? And stop biting me. Uh, no. Stop biting me. Mm. Yeah, you're silly. Stop <laughs> licking the computer. <laughs> All right, guys. I think I'm going to sign off. That's my cue. All right. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Thanks for, for stopping by the live show. I looked like you. Yeah. You're silly. Mm. Good night, guys. <laughs>